hello. Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. First, uh, thanks to everybody so far that's picked up a copy of my DVD. If you're just learning Photoshop Elements, um, either version 6 or you have the new version 7, um, you could definitely go over to jackstechcorner.com it would be a great help to you to pick up a copy of my DVD. There's 46 high resolution videos on there and those videos start you off from the organizer and they work you all the way up through uh, quick editing and um, just uh, basic editing features, um, guided edit and uh, so forth and so forth. Uh, there's just so many videos on there. Uh, it's a great, uh, great way to learn Photoshop elements so you might want to pick it up. And uh, Like I said, they're high resolution so they look really good. They play the uh, on your computer, and you can use them either on the Windows or Mac. And uh, the DVD is only fifteen dollars, so it's a, it's a great investment um, in in your learning. Next, check out our sponsor's website, uh, GreenScreenWizard.com. Uh, programmer's name is Ken. If you do any green screen photography work, um, then that's the site you want to check out, GreenScreenWizard.com. Now, for this video tutorial, I want to talk to you today about printing. Now I'm sure a lot of you um, out there send all your stuff out to be printed. All your pictures are sent out. Uh, you upload them to different websites. And, and you know we need to look at that one day and I need to go over that with you and show you a couple of different websites I use and how you would upload your pictures to them to get them developed. But I'm sure a lot of you out there have a, a you know nice inkjet printer or you may even have a color laser printer sitting beside you. Um, and you know you want to print some photos off. Well, that's, that's always a good thing to do. I like to print maybe one when I do some editing, maybe get a, a feel for what it's going to look like on paper. But what we're going to show you today is three different ways to print um, to share your work with somebody. Or this even works, uh, as you know, I do a little bit of wedding photography. So this works if I have a client. Um, I'm going to show you how you can make a basic, um, uh, just a basic like uh, book or, or put together a few sheets where they can actually pick out the pictures they want on there and uh, actually tell you what they would like to have developed or printed. So, to get started, we get, we're going to do all this work today in our organizer. That's the only place we're going to be. So open up your organizer, and hopefully by now you have some albums set up. We're going to go down through here. Close this one. And on these pictures, I've been doing a lot of work on that you've seen. A lot of these green screen pictures. We're going to look at the edited pictures, or the end result pictures. And this is all from my green screen work that I've been uh, putting together for this couple. So I wanted to show you first of all is how would we print one picture out of here. Well, if we simply click on a picture, we go to share. Then we go to print picture. Now we're going to have the option here to print this picture off as an individual print. You can see it says 5 by 7 now if we want to print that a different size, just drop that pull down menu. You go to actual size, which as you see, it's probably not going to fit on there because it's going to cut the head off there. So let's go back here. Uh, you can look at a 5x7. We can look at a 4x6 or an 8x10. There's an 8x10 picture. And you can go ahead and you would just simply select on print there is some more options in here. The more options that we can actually put, we can actually label the picture with the date, the caption, or the file name. We can also uh, invert the image or transfer printing. Print crop marks. So if we use cropping, it would actually print the crop marks. And what that's good for is if you're cropping off something, and you know where the crop mark is then you can move the person down or whatever and then resize the image. You can add a border around the picture so it wouldn't just be white paper around there and you can change that color uh, to whatever you might want it to be. Let's see what that looks like. As you can see there's a border around there now. You can do a crop to fit but as you see you're going to crop off part of the head. So I usually do not crop. And that's uh, it on the more options. 
you can do a page setup and this is just a basic page setup portrait landscape then you would hit print alright that's step one we can print one way like that let's hit cancel on that what I use this more for those if I have clients and I want to get them a set of pictures out to them so they can start reviewing those and you know see what they like and maybe I want to put those on paper so this is basically a way just to send them proofs um, without sending them all the 4x6's or printing everything as an 8x10 um, it's just a very quick and easy way let me show you how to do that let's go ahead and select a bunch of pictures all I'm doing is hold my left mouse button down and I'm just dragging around these to make a square or if you're more comfortable you can click the first one and hold down your shift key and click the last one you can select them that way once you have a group of pictures selected and you could even select this whole thing let's say we, we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to say we're going to use this whole thing and we want to send all these out to our couple so they can actually proof these and see what they'd like to buy let's hit print okay that's fine now we can go through these and you can look at these each as a 5 by 7 if you wish that's individual prints and you can hit print and it would print all of these out as 5 by 7s or you know you could do 8 by 10 and you can print all those out as 8 by 10s you can even look at them over here I'm sorry you gotta click down here to see them and you can go through these now here's what I like to do to proof a picture I would rather go do select type of print contact sheet now look what we have we have small pictures you know large enough these print out large enough where you could see them but they're still small enough uh, that you fit multiple pictures on each page now we only have two pages with all those pictures and you know there's 26 items down here it says it has 26 items in that uh, particular album that would be 26 uh, four by six prints I would have to print off so you can even change the number of columns here we have four columns there's three columns there's five columns there's six columns and everything's on one page but you see how the pictures start to get smaller you know, probably the best is probably a four column view you can even do a three column view if you don't have that many pictures the pictures are a little larger for them to see them and again you would just go down hit print and they come off your printer I do suggest you use photo quality paper don't print these things off on standard uh, printer paper yeah it'll work but you're not going to get the same effect that you you're trying to get from your clients now this one add text you know when they're proofing these you want them to be able to tell you um, especially what the file name is I think that's really important um, the caption and the date not so important probably the biggest thing is the file name so they can call you up and tell you what picture they would would like to have or I've had couples actually call me up and say uh, Jack can you do some editing on a picture maybe change something about it um, whatever it might be and I would have the file name I'd be able to go in there and make those changes or corrections and then contact them back now the last way I want to show you, you can print here is very simple is a way that a lot of times you see uh, schools if you have any kids still in school you'll see their school packages come home and they use a thing called a picture package so if you click on that now a picture package could be multiple pictures on one page and to see that let's do two four by fives and eight two by two point fives there's a picture package now you have pictures that you they can be cut out everything printed on one sheet of paper or one piece of photo quality paper three four by sixes will fit on here and you can see it arranges them nicely if you want to give them four by sixes you can do this and you can you know sit there and cut them all out I actually uh, when I go to print uh, wedding pictures I do use an online developer and we will look at that one day if you have an interest sooner than when I do the video by all means please uh, email me or put a comment and I'll get back to you on it here's four three point by three five three point five let's go back it's a three point five by five 
you could just do all kind of picture packages in here. 2 by 2.5, 16 of them on a sheet. Almost looks like a contact sheet, right? So about the same uh, same idea there. We're going to do one 5 by 7, um, two 2.5 by 3.5s, and four two 2 by 5s. And these are kind of like wallet sizes. These are the bigger wallets, and these are the smaller wallet sizes. Then you hit print and you'd fire this off your printer. You can also select a frame. If you look at some of these frames, there's some nice framing techniques. Let's go back here. Let's do one. No, let's do two. Four by fives. You can see it did a nice oval uh, antique frame on there. Antique rectangle. So you have a lot of options. Ladybugs if you're shooting babies. A rose garden frame. Then again, you just hit print. You can see we can sc still scroll through all these. And that is the way you do that. Remember, you get there by going to the Share tab, and then you go to Print, and you'll be able to print those off. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. It actually ran longer than I thought it would, uh, but that's okay. And thanks for the um, advice there. I had a few people email me and said, once you make YouTube Partner, your videos can be as long as you, you want them to be and as high quality you want it to be and they can be as um, large a file size you're uploading that you want so that's really that makes it a lot easier to create these videos and get them on YouTube well folks until next time uh, thanks for watching and you know email me or put comments out there or whatever you want to do let me know if you're using a Mac because it seemed like the last uh, video I did about installing brushes there's more Mac views than there's Windows views so that's leading me to believe a lot of you out there are using Macs that's pretty cool and, i like to know that so I can uh, create more Mac videos and make sure I'm, I'm addressing all your needs. So until next time, folks, keep those shutters clicking and keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now. Once again, I am Jack, and you're watching Jack's Tech Corner. See you.